Schizophrenia is a mental disorder characterized by impairments in the way reality is perceived, with associated changes in behavior. Schizo means split, and phrenia means mind in Greek, but it's important to remember it is not meant to mean split personality, which is a separate condition. Schizophrenia affects how people think, feel, and behave, and the symptoms are divided into three main types, psychotic or positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive symptoms. Psychotic symptoms include hallucinations, meaning sensing something that is not there, and auditory hallucinations are particularly common, thought to occur in 80% of patients at some point. Delusions are a fixed belief that something is true despite having evidence that it is not. In schizophrenia, paranoid delusions are common, for example, believing the FBI is following them or that they are being poisoned. Delusions of reference are also common in schizophrenia, where a person believes messages are meant specifically for them. For example, believing a newsreader on TV is talking directly to them. There can be delusions of control, where a person believes that someone else is controlling their thoughts, such as the FBI placing thoughts in their minds. There can be delusions of grandeur, meaning being a figure of great importance, and delusions of erotomania, meaning believing a person typically of higher status is in love with them. Another positive symptom is disorganized speech or thinking, which can manifest as jumping from topic to topic, or speech that makes no sense, termed word salad. Another example would be stopping in the middle of a sentence. Abnormal and often repetitive movements are also included here, as is disorganized behavior. A classic example is being dressed inappropriately for an event or for the climate. Negative symptoms are deficits in normal emotions or thoughts and are split into the five A's. Blunted affect, meaning showing little emotion or expression. A lodger, which is a lack of content in speech. Anhedonia, which is the inability to feel pleasure. Asociality, which is a lack of desire to interact or form social relationships. And avolition, which is a lack of motivation. The cognitive symptoms are a predictor of day-to-day -day functioning and are amongst the earliest symptoms to appear. Problems manifest as low attention levels, poor decision making, and problem solving abilities. The onset of these symptoms typically follow a prodromal phase, where there is a gradual development of primarily cognitive and negative symptoms, followed by the first episode of psychosis. Following this, patients often return to baseline or a residual phase, before beginning another gradual worsening. The time between the onset of the first episode of psychosis and treatment is known as the duration of untreated psychosis, and this is a factor in overall functional outcome. According to the DSM-5, for a diagnosis of schizophrenia to be made, at least two diagnostic symptoms must be present. These are delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, disorganized or catatonic behavior, or negative symptoms. For the diagnosis, one of the two symptoms needs to be delusions, hallucinations, or disorganized speech, which means you don't have to have delusions or hallucinations to be diagnosed. On top of this, the two symptoms need to have been actively present for most of the time for one month, with a significant impact on functioning for at least six months. The symptoms should also not be the result of substance abuse or other medical conditions, and schizoaffective, bipolar, or depressive disorder with psychotic features must have been ruled out. Some important changes to note from the DSM-4 is that the subtypes have been removed as they were not shown to improve the outcome for patients, 
and less emphasis is placed on Schneider's first rank symptoms of schizophrenia. The exact cause is not clear, but it is thought to be multifactorial. The main hypothesis is neurochemical abnormalities, suggesting an imbalance of particularly dopamine and glutamate being responsible. The four dopamine pathways are the nigrostriatal, mesocortical, mesolimbic and tuberoinfundibular pathways, and it is thought that positive symptoms are the result of excess activation of D2 receptors in the mesolimbic pathway, motor symptoms due to the low levels of dopamine in the nigrostriatal pathways, and negative symptoms due to low levels in the mesocortical pathway. Genetics are thought to play a role, with 46% concordance rates documented in monozygotic twins, and a 40% chance of developing the condition if both parents are affected. Environmental factors include several points relating to birth, such as low birth weight, gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, emergency caesarean section delivery, and even winter birthing, associated with a 10% higher risk. The risk is also higher in patients living in urban areas by around 2-4%, to and there is a suggestion of a 40% increase in risk in cannabis smokers. The lifetime prevalence is around 1%, and it seems to be more common in those of African American descent. The typical age is around the mid-20s, with the peak being slightly earlier in males than in females. It is also slightly more common in males than it is in females. Early treatment following onset of psychosis is associated with better outcomes. Antipsychotic medications are a main feature as they are effective in the acute setting and they are useful in preventing relapses and it is estimated that 80% of untreated patients will relapse within one year. Maintenance can be through long-acting injections or through tablets. Examples include risperidone and olanzapine. If the initial agent is not effective, then another is used and the response assessed. Antipsychotics can have significant side effect profiles, and some, such as clozapine, will require regular monitoring. Psychotherapies or talking therapies like cognitive behavioural therapy, are used particularly against the negative symptoms, and are used in combination with medication in order to try and improve the overall functioning of the person and maintain that status. Treatment-resistant schizophrenia is defined as no response to at least two antipsychotics over at least 12 weeks, and in these cases, clozapine is an option.